now with meteorologist Liz McGiffin with Storm Team 4. Get a check of that forecast because today was a very chilly, gray, soggy kind of a day. Yes. Yeah. All of the things that you really don't want on that checklist. Yeah. And such a contrast from how we started off the month as well. Right. So like you were talking about, it's been cool. It's been gray. We've been seeing those showers and there's been plenty of color out there on the live Viper radar. For now, you'll notice almost a gap in the color over across the Columbus area, but that's only because the showers have been thinning out. You'll notice if you step outside, we still have the chill to the air and we're still keeping an eye on a few of those light sprinkles as well. 38 degrees, that's the actual temperature, but as soon as you factor in a breeze, in this case, an east to southeasterly breeze, it is feeling more like the low to mid 30s. And I'm keeping an eye on more showers this evening and even tomorrow. I'll time them out for you though, coming up in your full forecast in just a few minutes. Well, I think we're in this for a stretch. Storm Team 4, Liz McGiffin <laughs> joining us now. Uh, the, mm -hmm. the cold is here. Uh, the moisture is probably going to vary in certain places, huh? Yes, that's really going to be the bigger determining factor because like you mentioned, the cold, it has settled in. And yeah. that's going to be something that stays persistent even as we approach the Thanksgiving holiday for at least this next week. The biggest change is going to be probably happening behind me on the live Viper radar. Well, you'll notice there's been a lot of color, so we've been seeing temperatures in the 30s. Primarily, we've had that light green indicating some light but chilly rain showers out across the area. It has been farther up to the north, though, that we've seen that blue color indicating that mixture of some light rain and even snow flurries. <laughs> you notice, though, much calmer picture as soon as we zoom right into the Columbus area. Not a whole lot showing up across the outer belt. You have to go farther down to the south, so closer to the heart of this disturbance where we have areas like Patascala, Pickerington, even down towards Circleville and Lancaster, we're seeing just a few of those light showers. Now, even though we aren't seeing much in the way of color here in the across the Columbus area, you're going to step outside and notice more of a light mist or drizzle. The reason we aren't quite getting that color on the radar is because these rain droplets are so small and you notice a little bit of fog showing up on that Window Nation Tower camera as as well. Temperature wise, the reason we're talking about light rain showers and almost more of a drizzle as opposed to flurries is because we've at least been able to reach those mid to upper 30s. We're at 38 degrees here in Columbus, but feeling more like 33 thanks to the breeze. And it's actually been this breeze, so that southeasterly direction to the wind that is barely keeping things warm enough for rain instead of snow. And you'll notice on the pinpoint forecast as we head throughout the next couple of hours, not expecting too much change. As we approach six o'clock, though, here's where temperatures will fall about a degree or two. So just like what we're experiencing now, I'm anticipating more of a light chilly rainfall. Same story by 10 o'clock. Now by that point, you'll notice farther up to the north. So as we start to approach areas like Marion, Mount Gilead, Bucyrus, here's where we can see a light changeover with a light wintry mix. I think though by the time the temperatures get cool enough for that, so later on tonight, we will be thinning out those showers. And like we experienced today, we'll start off dry tomorrow, but on the cloudy side by noon to three o'clock, that'll be where we start to thicken up the clouds. And by about this time tomorrow. So as we approach the four to six o'clock time frame, get that evening drive going for your Wednesday. That's when we will see some light showers. Notice how thin these bands of showers are, because even as we approach Wednesday night, that's when at most we could see that light wintry mix of some light rain and snow, even a slight chance for a few isolated flurries left over by Thursday's early morning commute. And now overnight tonight, it will be farther up to the north that you go that you'll be more likely to see that light mixture of rain and snow primarily across the area, just some chilly light rain showers that we'll be experiencing throughout the day today and again for later on tomorrow evening. You notice once the showers move out, well, we will be left behind with quite the cold air in place. In fact, for Friday into the day on Saturday. Here's where temperatures are going to struggle to even exceed 30 degrees, 33 degrees alongside plenty of sunshine Saturday. Finally, a little less cold at least by Tuesday. That's when highs will be in the 40s. Yikes. Too many.